Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm excited that I just received my new Colorado pontoon boat. I'm gonna get this thing put together and give you guys a quick review of what I think of the new pontoon boat. And I haven't had a pontoon boat for a lot of years. I've got a float tube and of course the Eider, a wooden boat, but this one should help me get down some more rivers and a little, little easier access to some of the still water fishing that I do. So I'm pretty excited. It's maiden voyage is gonna be later on this month in the Yakima River and uh, really looking forward to uh, fishing with some friends down the Yakima River in fall. Should be, should be a great time, but let's get this thing put together. So I'm gonna give them some props right away. They did a great job with packaging this thing. So it had all of these foam pieces on all the uh, different corners. Everything was bagged up. Um, yeah, there's not a scratch on any of the uh, black metal parts. So kudos to Colorado for their packaging because it arrived here safe and sound and looks great. All right, let's get this thing put together. All right, she's built. And it looks exactly as the picture showed. So I think that's, uh, that's good news. But yeah, I'm happy with it. Nine foot pontoons. I mean, it's a, it's a sizable boat. Can handle class one rapids, which most of the rivers where I fish have either one or less. So yeah, I'm excited uh, for its maiden voyage, but looks super stable. And took me about, about an hour to put it together. So not too bad at all. Cannot wait to take it out and fish. So do you know what the coolest thing is? We installed this winch system to pull the top off the Jeep whenever we wanted to do that. But we don't often do that because we're in Washington State. But however, this thing fits perfectly onto the pontoon boat and I'm not gonna have to lift the eight pounds at a base to put it away. And I'll be able to back the trailer right underneath it and plop it right on. How cool is that? And just like that, she's put away. Let's go fish and fish on. All right, we are on the water. Got the guys up uh, up ahead a little bit, and I'm gonna fish this little hole here. Got the pontoon boat on its maiden voyage. So far, so good. Let's go catch a fish, fish on. So far, so very good. Very seaworthy pontoon boat for sure. It's fast, fast in the water. So it's fast and easy to row, but also fast to be taken by the current. So. Great boat though. Looks like we got good storage. I mean, I've got my gear bag on here and I've got my got my dry bag on here, lunchbox gear bag. So it holds a lot of stuff, which is nice. Um, you know, the only thing that uh, I'm gonna have to pick up right away is another rod holder because it does have only one rod holder and you're gonna need two. So other than that, so far so very good. Well, I'm back from the three-day float on the Yakima River with the Colorado pontoon boat from Classic Accessories. And this is my first product review. I'm pretty excited about it. So let's first talk about the pros. I really was happy with the boat overall. There's just a few things that I might do a little differently. But let's talk about the good things first. The boat appears to be very well built. Like it's built to last for a long time. Very heavy denier on the bottom. Everything looks like it's really made from quality material. So I was very happy about that. It looks like it's gonna last me a lot of years of pretty heavy fishing and pretty heavy use. I mentioned the durable bottom. I was dragging that thing all over the rocks and the denier did not seem to flinch an inch on the bottom. So I was really happy with how it performed in durability and dragging around the river. It's got strong seven foot aluminum oars with brass oarlocks, which was nice that they used that good of material on the oarlocks. It's got lots of storage space, albeit small, and we'll go over that a little bit later in the review. It's pretty light for its size. It's about 75 pounds, so I can handle it myself, even though it's it's nicer to have two people to be able to pull it off the trailer or, or drag it down to the river, but you can do it yourself if you are fishing by yourself. A little bit heavy, but not, but not too terrible. I love the stripping basket around the seat. Having that stripping basket around the seat keeps the anchor line from getting tangled up, and more importantly, keeps your fly line from getting tangled up in and around 
the lower portion of the seat. So I love having that stripping basket. So that was a that was a great little engineering piece they put on this boat. It's got an electric motor mount. So I plan on taking this boat fishing with me in still water. It's gonna be great to be able to put in a little 30 pound thrust electric motor with battery on that back tray. It rides nice and high. I do like that. It feels like it sits way on top of the water. It only takes about four inches of water to float it, which is also nice. Uh, but yeah, it rides really nice and high. I was happy with that. It's really easy to handle. So that was also a nice perk. It's easy to handle on the river, both using paddles or the oars itself. Uh, I found no challenges with, uh, with using it on the river. So what are, what are the few cons that I did find? So the rod holder is made out of metal and there's only one of them. So you're going to need two rod holders and that metal makes me a little nervous because the first time I get a little nick on that metal, it's gonna mar up the cork of the fly rods when you're putting them in and out of that fly rod. So I'm gonna probably replace that one fly rod holder and also add another to that pontoon boat because uh, it's just, you need to, and I'm just really not happy with the quality of the rod holder that came along with it. So I'm gonna replace the one that came with it and add another one so I have two. The other is the cup holders. So the cup holders that are in the side storage, they really are kind of pointless. For one, they encroach in the storage area, which is already limited in those side pockets, and they really don't have the structural integrity to hold up a coffee mug or really anything of substance put in there. So I wasn't really happy with those. So it's got like 20 compartments and it's nice to have those 20 compartments, but they are relatively small. So I wasn't able to put in an extra layer or extra coat or really very many of my fly boxes because it just doesn't have a ton of packing power. Anytime that you get a little bit too much in there, the zippers don't want to close. So I found those storage containers to be great if I put some water bottles in there or a little bit extra gear, or maybe it's my beanie that I put in there, some gloves. Really, if you're looking for storage, you're gonna have to have a dry bag that goes on a, a nice big tray that's in the back uh, of the unit itself as well. And finally, I did lose a bolt. So I lost a bolt on the motor mount, which might've been my fault. I probably should have tightened those nuts down a little bit further, but I did lose a bolt there and I lost one of the thumb screws on the bottom of the seat. Now I did have those tight, so I'll probably carry a couple extra thumb screws so that you're not losing those when you're down the river. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing, but maybe you have to expect that when you're toting the boat around and using it heavily, just to check those out whenever you take the boat out of the water, which I will do next time. And finally, the last great thing about the boat is I was able to pack a lot on that boat. I had my dry bag, my full gear bag, I had my lunch box, I had a ton of stuff on that boat. So even though the compartments are a little bit small, I was able to pack a ton of stuff on that boat, which was nice. So overall, I give it a nine out of 10 rating. I was really happy with it. And for the price, she can't beat it. So I can't wait to use it again. Thanks for tuning in. And hey, if you want me to review anything else, put it down in the comments. I'd uh, love to uh, do some more reviews for you. And I hope you found this one helpful. All right, everybody, fish on. Till the next time.